DC here. Hi guys and gals. Well, hey, it is Wednesday. Yeah, hump day. And walking just a little bit further from my usual haunt where I have my meal. So you can see further off over there, there's the children's playground and the tree. It's in bloom. It's nice actually. And the water, but the temperature we got now, no kid is going to want to go swimming in that. Yeah. So, I don't know how it is your way, but we've had a really a rather strange spring up to now, and now it's uh, now it's really really warm, and things just bloomed and blossomed, and then it froze, and it froze bad. So most things just died. Uh, so I think that we're not going to have many um, little fruits like you know things like apricots, for example, or even I was reading that uh, grapes. Uh, so in other words, if you're in Switzerland, you know, wine growing is a big thing. So it's going to be supposedly a problem. We'll see. Anyway, and now, you know, it's still quite cool. I mean, this is DC had prepared some seedlings. Uh, and it's just been too cold. Even to put them in like the warm, uh, you know, like she, she bought these little, well, I don't know if you call them hot houses, but anyway, you know, the green plastic things. And... It was too cold outside, so she had to basically put one in the basement and try and, you know, get around around the, the problem, but eh, she told me she is. Up to now, it's not been great. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't think that home gardening is going to be a big, a big success this year, but let's not talk too quickly. We'll see. So, what do we see in the woods here? Uh, they've cleaned them up, and they seem to have I don't know who does that. If it's the if it's the uh, people that are cleaning up the forest or people, uh, I mean, this has nothing to do actually with why they put them up against the trees. I don't know. It's really hard to say because this is a little bit of woods, a little bit further on where there is the circle, and there was the circle earlier this year, but that comes, you know, at certain times in the year, and it's not time for that now. I don't know. It could be scouts. Uh, you know, we have we have some type of scouts that have like boy and girls together. Actually, is that something that's still existing in the states? I haven't even checked it out. But there have been so many stories about about boy scouts in the states and them going bankrupt and stuff. I was just wondering all of a sudden. Yeah. How many of you were in boy scouts or cub scouts and stuff like that when you were kids? Um, I was in a, a French type of Cub Scouts. They were called a Louveteaux, which means a well, baby, the, I'm going to say the young, the young wolves. Uh, so that was, those were Cub Scouts. And later on, a little bit, I was in uh, English-speaking Boy Scouts. You know, the the Cub Scouts were much more playing around and getting told stories. We were being read things like the Jungle Book and things like that. Uh, yeah, very much so actually, the Jungle Book. And the ladies taking care of the, of the Cub Scouts, they had taken on names, you know, like the, of the, of the figures in, in the Jungle Book, Bagheera and Balu and so on. It's funny because there was a big fat lady and she was calling herself Balu when I thought like, I wouldn't probably do that if I was you. And it's money here, I gotta be careful. Yeah. Oh, there's still leftovers of the circle over there. Nobody's taken it apart this time. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. And the Boy Scouts, that was quite different, actually. They were teaching us much more how to rely on ourselves or on a small group for, uh, you know, surviving. <laughs> I mean, any of you who've been in these organizations and I haven't I wasn't in them very long will know you know that they're I found they were actually very good and we hear a lot of things about you know people you know abusing kids and stuff like that and never had any problems myself in that respect never even heard of any problems like that when we were in them so sometimes you know you wonder sometimes you wonder how much is 
is made up and how much is just there, you know, because the Boy Scouts, there's the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, the Cub Scouts, the Brownies, and so on. You, you know what I'm talking about. Seems to me they were good organizations. We had also, in the English-speaking world, 4-H clubs. Yeah, there was a lot of good stuff. And most of that seems to have been taken away. Hmm. Why? I don't know. There, I was reading something, or no, I heard something this morning that kind of got my goat. Because it's saying that self-righteous people, you know, are never forgiving. And never forgetting. And tend to, which is basically the, the basis of so much things in this today's cancel culture. So, you know, has there been a bit of that involved? I mean, I'm not saying that there weren't any predators in these groups. But is there something, you know, like a lot of these groups were, you know, sometimes they were based on religion. Some of them were based on, you know, just, I was going to say, good feelings and so on. But, you know, over here, I, I just get the impression that, you know, the scouts and so on, they were, like I said, it was a boy-girl thing that I remember, here in Switzerland, I mean, didn't seem to have much to do with that but anyway tell me about your experiences have any of you i mean as a child been in the scouts have you actually taken care of kids you know uh, as the responsible persons or you know boy scouts girl guides and so on be interesting to hear about that you know i've taken care of some youth groups a few times and it's not always easy it's not always easy because the things that we think are really cool, very often the generation, which is just a little bit younger sometimes than us, find really boring. Yeah, anyway, I've been talking seven minutes, so I guess I'll stop. You can hear the birds, it's nice, eh? By the way, this here is what they call a, Swede a Swedish run band, or fin Finnish run band, uh, running, what they call it. Uh, yeah, Finnish. Usually it's uh, like you would find in Finland. I think they're going to have to take care of it. And usually it's wood shavings in there. And a fish that I think you're supposed to run barefoot in it. Oh, I don't think that I would want to run barefoot in it. Anyway. Okay, I think I really should talk. stop now. I'm going to eight minutes. I'll be DC signing off. Take care, everybody. And have a nice hump day. Bye-bye.